In the quiet town of Ravenswood, where the whispering wines carried secrets from the past, the legend of the blood-sucking vampires was more than mere folklore. It was a chilling reality that gripped the hearts of the townspeople, a nightmare that unfolded in the shadows. One cold and moonless night, Sarah, a spirited young woman with fiery red hair and an insatiable curiosity, embarked on a journey that would alter the course of her life. Armed with a wooden stake and a vial of holy water, she set out to confront the terror that had plagued her town for centuries. The cobblestone streets were empty, and the houses were cloaked in darkness as Sarah ventured toward the dilapidated castle on the outskirts of town. It was said to be the lair of the vampires, a place where unspeakable horrors transpired under the shroud of night. As Sarah pushed open the heavy castle doors, a musty odor of decay greeted her. The flickering candlelight revealed a grand hall adorned with ancient tapestries and dusty chandeliers. It was an eerie sight, but Sarah's determination was unshaken. She ventured deeper into the castle's labyrinthine corridors until she reached a hidden chamber. There, she found a coffin bathed in a faint red glow. With trembling hands, she raised her stake, ready to end the reign of terror that had gripped Ravenswood for generations. But just as she was about to strike, a voice, soft as silk and cold as ice, pierced the silence. Wait. Sarah turned to see a vampire named Victor, his porcelain skin glistening like polished marble. His crimson eyes locked onto hers, holding her in a mesmerizing gaze. Why have you come, mortal? Victor's voice was as seductive as it was sinister. Sarah steeled herself and spoke of the town's suffering, of the innocent lives lost to the vampire's insatiable thirst for blood. I've come to put an end to your reign of terror. Victor regarded her with a mixture of amusement and curiosity. You cannot defeat us all, and violence begets violence. But I sense a different path for you, one that could change everything. As the night wore on, Sarah and Victor spoke of their respective worlds the world of humans and the world of vampires. They discovered common ground in their desire for a more peaceful coexistence. Victor revealed that not all vampires craved violence, and some longed for a way to live without causing harm. Sarah made a bold choice that night. She chose to spare Victor and to work with him to find a way for vampires and humans to coexist without fear and bloodshed. Together, they forged an unlikely alliance, the first step toward a fragile peace in Ravenswood. In the end, it wasn't a wooden stake that brought change to the town, but the courage to seek understanding and the willingness to challenge the age-old enmity between humans and vampires.